Hi friends, meeting you after a long time. Well, welcome back to my channel, Innovative Ideas. Today, I will show you these two hard drives are reported that they are not detected. This customer wants his uh, the data of this hard drives and reported that these two hard drives were connected in the DVR. These hard drives are for used for surveillance in CCTV camera system. These hard drives were installed and customer reported that he has connected the power connector in a wrong manner. That's why these two hard drives are not detected. So this is Seagate hard drive and this is Western Digital 1 terabyte of hard drive. So I will connect this hard drive in my bay and uh, let me check that it is uh, detected or not. This my hard drive they can support up to 8 terabyte of hard drive and it is connected here in the laptop and uh, now I am powering on this hard drive bay. It's powered on, red indicator is on and uh, other LED bulbs are not glowing and hard drive is not moving and in PC disk management the hard drive of my laptop is showing only here and uh, let me refresh or rescan disks hard drive is not being detected so let us see what can be done in this you can check it here also it's powered on and hard drive is not detected no any movement of hard drive is there no no not at all let us check by opening it Customer has already done some research. Form is not available. This is the logic card of the hard drive. And let me check that what can be done in this. This is the power supply. I'm connecting the power cord. And <coughs> this is SMPS tester. I am connecting this so that it may powered on now smps is powered on and now we can get the power supply from here okay so first of all i am connecting this sata power cable i have connected here at the ground this is ground for the circuit and pin number one two three they are giving 12 points four volt approximately 12 volts and 4, 5, 6 is ground and then pin number 7, 8 and 9. These three pins are giving 5 volts and then again it is ground and pin number these last pin plus 3 pins they are giving 3.3 volts. Although this does not need hard drive does not need 3.3 volt to operate. So here we can check here we are giving 5 approximately 5.8 and at another in another point at the diode if we are giving zero volts and at this is a register at which we are giving, getting at one point we are getting 5.7 or 8 and, uh, and another point we are getting 12.40 and at the capacitor we are getting 0 and uh, 5.06 and another register we are getting 5.06 and at another point we are getting 5.06 so this register might be opened or it might be disturbed because the power supply has been the connector power supply connector has been connected in a wrong manner that's why now let us check without power supply what does this register say so I am connecting my multi, I am switching my multimeter at the diode range or at the beep range and 
testing this is the register okay it might be a one ohm register or zero ohm register or you can say it might be a jumper capacitor is okay and another register oh this register is not showing any any value and these two registers are working as a fuse to save the entire circuit so let us change this let us change this register and let us see the what happens with the circuit So friends after some efforts I have got this 1 ohm register here you can see this is the SMD component it's very tiny it's a 1 ohm register so it is good and keeping the air pressure at the minimum level and uh, temperature is approximately 350 so i have removed this and uh, applying this smd component at this place Okay, kindly cross check every time whenever you are changing these SMD components so that it is placed at the right place or not. Now it is time for the testing of this circuit. Now I am reassembling this logic card to the hard drive. So friends, after uh, replacing the register, this logic circuit in my opinion is now fine. Reassembling the logic card into the hard drive, I am connecting the hard drive to this uh, hard drive bay. It can support up to 8 terabyte of memory of hard drive. So. Okay, now I am powering on it. Wow, you can see that red LED bulb is glowing. And along with white LED bulb is also glowing. It means that hard drive started detecting. I am also showing in the screen recorder let us see in the disk management yes it is disk 1 931.5 gb it is showing it means that one terabyte of my hard drive started detecting in the laptop this one terabyte hard drive is showing as unallocated space and uh, now after formatting I can use but I will format it after recovering the data because the main motto is to recover the data and rest of the work goes to the data recovery softwares and uh, I will check it and I will recover the data so guys if you like this video then please click on like button and uh, thanks for watching my channel and thanks for your continuous support for my channel innovative ideas I have completed 50,000 subscribers very much thank you it was not possible without you thanks for being thanks for having faith in me and uh, on my channel once again thank you very much keep innovating and moreover friends if you want to purchase such type of uh, 
gears like uh, screwdriver set hard drive bay smd machine and uh, iron solder station i will give the purchase link amazon link in the description of the video there you can check it and you can purchase if you need so guys meeting me in my next video thanks for watching keep innovating To subscribe innovative ideas click on subscribe button and click on bell icon.